Welcome back to the Crochet Crowd as well as my friends over at Yarnspirations.com. I've been noticing that Yarnspirations is into a lot of this really twisting coiling uh, fringe just like you see. So there's not cut at all, it's just twisting and it's a natural twist onto itself. Let me show you how this is done. So what we're going to do in this particular example is that we are going to slip stitch in and just pull through and through. And we want to pull a loop. In this case they're saying 16 inches. So I'm just gonna lay it down to the tape measure of around 16 and then I'm gonna just release it and I'm just gonna hold it at the project level. Using my finger I'm going to count and it says to do 40 times for this particular example. The amount of times that it twists will change how the coil looks. So I'm gonna count to 40 uh, silently. Now that I have my 40 what I'm going to do is that I am just going to slide it up off my finger and onto the crochet hook. And where I was I'm just going to slip stitch pulling that yarn through and through the loop that I just put onto there. And then I wanna slip stitch into the next. And when I look at this coiling that I just did it causes it to naturally want to twist among itself and stay twisted just like you see. I'm gonna demonstrate it one more time. So you're just gonna slip stitch into the next one after that and pull up. And I've been noticing I'm getting a little faster at it because I'm getting used to it and then twist 40 times. Now that I have my 40 release it and insert your hook in first and then slip stitch into the same one pulling it through and through the one on there and then just slip stitch to the next. And then just come back just pull on it a little bit and it will recoil itself permanently just like that. So this is how you do twisting fringe. <laughs> 